Hello, good evening. Welcome to Pentilly Castle. Um, I'm Regan. I work alongside Chrissy um, with our wedding couples and um, helping them to create their visions and um, yeah, basically putting everything together and making sure that they celebrate their wedding day um, exactly the way they planned and dreamed. So obviously we're in a, a horrible situation at the moment where we can't um, show people around the castle. We can't welcome guests as we normally do. Um, and we're unable to invite wedding couples to, to come and have a look and see if Pentilly is the venue for them. So um, I thought I'd make a short sort of compilation um, of three of our most unique um, areas, locations around the castle that are licensed for civil ceremonies. Um, and basically, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to walk you down the aisle, so to speak. So if you bear with me, I will um, shortly take you to three of the most incredible um, locations that you'll be able to say your very special vows. So I'll see you shortly. Um, so here I am just leaving the castle, um, as I would do on my wedding day, um, uh, to walk down the aisle, down towards the loggia. So I would walk down through here, having just left the Dewhurst Bridal Suite where I've been getting ready and basically leave the castle doors down the steps out onto the terrace where I would walk down here. Now normally there would be chairs laid out and your guests would be here walking past the wisteria, which smells absolutely divine. And I would turn there towards the loggia and walk slowly down the aisle to some live music, maybe. There we go. There. And standing here, underneath the archway which is licensed there we go all your guests would be sat there step forwards back out just to give you a view there we go and that's what your guests could be enjoying obviously they'll all be looking at you no doubt as you say your vows However, there we have it, the most beautiful outside ceremony location, and that's the loggia. So, some of our couples decide that they would like to marry outside, underneath the um, Wisteria Pavilion, as it's so called, which is located down to the edge of the old tennis lawn. So this is your, your walk as a bride, taking you down the steps onto the terrace. We normally lay out some um, matting along the lawn here, just to uh, um, <laughs> give you something to walk on and not have your heels drop down into the grass. But yeah, and then you will turn and your guests will be on the lawn down here, sat waiting for you. And this would be your, your walk down the aisle to meet your husband-to-be. Now the wisteria, as you can see, is just coming out. Now with the um, licensing laws um, being slightly more relaxed, the um, registrars can allow you to, to stand outside here um, on the lawn and say many of your um, your readings and your words to each other and all they do is just make sure that actually the legal bit is said under the the licensed area of the pavilion so so yeah hopefully some of you can picture yourselves here okay saying I do so here we are down at the Riverside Victorian Bathing Hut. 
just pan around so you can see sits out on the river Tamar absolutely beautiful evening down here um, civil ceremonies can be held at any time of the day so you may choose to have a, a slightly later perhaps um, intimate evening reception candlelit um, we've done a, a few of those but yeah let me just walk you down the aisle so you can picture just how this could be for you I'm speaking from experience because I've been lucky enough to get married down here big surprise for me <laughs> that's for sure never thought it was going to happen um, but yeah here we are just walking down so walk down through here and some music on playing and walking in. Now the aisle itself inside is quite short so if you're like me and you didn't want too much attention on you if you first walk in this is just absolutely perfect. There you go and then if I pan round there where all your guests will be sat. Now it's seat 60 so it's quite intimate um, and yeah we can it's not too big that if there's only a handful of, of guests you certainly don't feel lost in here and in the winter you can light the log burner there which is absolutely beautiful. Just pan round to the window again. So that's your guests view. Obviously with the two of you saying your vows stood here.